Hi there, how are you? It's Russell Boatsley, I hope you're well. I just want to ask you, or just want to see if you agree with this or you have something in common with it, but I'm just wondering if you consider yourself being uh, an entrepreneur. Reason is I'm asking because I'm looking to meet entrepreneur type people. I don't want to meet people who are happy with just grinding out a 9 to 5 job and thinking that life is great. I've always been an entrepreneur. I left school when I was 15, went straight into a family business, engineering. Um, like a saw doctor, industrial saw blades, the big saw blades. And I spent 26 years doing that with my mum and dad and my eldest brother, who's eight years older than me. And my parents retired after about 13, 14 years when we were working together. And I loved working with my parents, it was great. My dad's a real good, if he was a network marketer, he would be very, very good. He's a real relationship type person and people trusted him, really was a, well still is, he's still alive, I'm very fortunate, both my parents are alive, they're 84, they live on a yacht in Turkey, in the Mediterranean, in Europe, anyway, so my brother and myself ran the business as a partnership for about uh, 13 years, and then cut a long story short, something happened with the business, and I sold out to my brother and at the time I was very upset because I thought this is my life, you know, this is me till I retire. But it wasn't to be, but anyway. So then I went to New Zealand, uh, that was back in about 99. And I bought a piece of land down there, I just thought it was a real happening place, you know. I thought. I thought it's a beautiful place, so I bought a piece of land just as an investment really. I just thought I'll buy it, keep it five years and flick it off, you know, and make a profit. And um, I met this Kiwi girl while I was there and I saw this furniture business for sale, cabinet making. Now I'm an engineer, so I, as an entrepreneur, I, you know, I, I thought, how can I do this, you know? I can operate a woodworking machine because I used to use them with saw doctoring and stuff, demonstrating or we used to build, you know, we built our own workshop so I did a lot of woodwork for that, you know, with the woodworking machines. So I thought, okay, I can operate a woodworking machine, I can labour for the lads, for the cabinet makers, do all the wood, you know, the planing and machining and present the wood to them and they'd put it together as a cabinet, you know. Anyway, I, within a couple of weeks after I bought this business, I just got into the woodworking thing, you know, into the cabinet making, and I said to the main foreman who was working for me, I said, well, what's the secret of cabinet making? He said, well, it's quite simple, really. He said, you need to keep everything square, and you measure twice and cut once. He said, never just measure it once and cut it. Always measure it twice. I said, yeah, that's sound advice. So within a couple of weeks, I would, I would do designing furniture, you know, looking through magazines and stuff and designing it and putting it together. And, and the, the lad who was working for me said, this is really good looking stuff. He said, you, you've got a natural talent. And I said, well, yeah, I probably have. I said, but as an entrepreneur, I can, you, you've got that mindset where you can just turn your hand to anything, you know? So anyway, we that business just took off. We we did it in native wood. It's called Rimu and Mata in New Zealand. It's beautiful wood. Very colourful, very rich, smelt beautiful. And uh, we did a lot of made-to-measure furniture as well. So that was good. And we were sending container loads to America and Canada and you know England and stuff like that. And then, long story short, again. I ended up selling that business due to the marriage breaking down, which, oh well, at the time, again, I was upset. But as an entrepreneur, I had no job, and I thought, I'm not working for anybody else. No way am I doing an eight to five for anybody. So I got online and started, you know, internet marketing. I'd never done it before. 
But I knew internet marketing was a relationship business right from day one. I knew that if people liked you, they would, like any business, if people like you, they buy off you, you know, and return business and everything. So that's where I am now. I'm in internet marketing. I love it. Um, I'm in a real, really good business. It's a high ticket business, but it's very, very good. The top notch training. I was supposed to go to Costa Rica on Tuesday, but I can't go, unfortunately. The airline messed up my bank account in the UK and they kept trying to charge my card, and the bank thought I was getting scammed, so they shut the charges down. And oh, anyway. So, anyway, that's uh, a little about me. You know, uh, if you click the link below, you can see what I do. Perhaps you might be interested. Like I say, if you're an entrepreneur type person, it would really appeal to you. So anyway, thanks for listening and I hope to chat soon. Alright, take care. Bye.